Hey there! We're going to talk today about watersheds and the concept of watershed for water resources in community. And to make this a little more interesting, I came all the way up to the Continental Divide. So I'm standing here at the top of the Rocky Mountains, uh, pretty close to the Continental Divide. And the point here is to show you the ultimate watershed divide for the Continental United States. So from one side, we have the drainage to the east. To the other side here, we have the drainage to the west coast. And concept-wise, watersheds are an area that limits the drainage for a given point. So it's a concept that engineers created in order to define the contribution to a given point. Uh, we use this concept to do design engineering and the idea is to make sure that we account for all the rainfall that drains to a given area. In this case here, the continental divide is dividing the entire United States. So we could have watersheds within watersheds, or we could call them sub-basin and sub-watersheds. So that important notion to have is the concept is inside our heads. It's used for design, it's inside our heads. Nature, it's just nature. So it's dividing its own watersheds as the water propagates downstream. So basically we're looking for the areas that are draining to a given point. So the first thing you want to define is your point of interest, your esotery, the point where you want to define your watershed for. And from that point, you're going to look for the area that's going to limit the drainage for that given point. So we're looking for delimiting the area that it's going to drain for a given point. And for that, we're going to look for the highest topography. So it's purely based on topography. So you're going to look for topography that's going to drain to a given point. And once you find that area, you're with your within your watershed. And remember, it's a concept that's within our, our heads. So from now on, every time you look around, you're going to see watersheds. Watersheds are all over. And I give you a 360 view here of the top of the Rockies and the Continental Divide.